Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's recipe is this delicious and juicy whole roast chicken. Want to see how I made it? Then let's get started. First, I'm going to mix up the spices. Here I have two tablespoons of chicken bouillon powder, some Italian half, some cumin powder, some cayenne pepper, rosemary, oregano, onion powder, a tablespoon, smoked paprika and hot paprika, thyme, dried thyme, garlic powder, one and a half teaspoon, and black pepper. Don't worry, I'll list all of the ingredients in the description box as always. So I'll give this all a good mix and then fetch some into my softened unsalted butter i'll mix this into the butter until i get a paste you want to do this with softened butter at room temperature or else it'll be so difficult even right now it's difficult because it's winter season right here once it is mixed up i'll set it aside and get to the chicken this chicken has been cleaned to perfection, so I'll pat it dry gently. Now it's time to cut out the backbone. I'm just going to use my finger to locate where the bone is and then use the scissors to cut it off. Please use a sharp scissors. Obviously, this scissors is not as sharp. It takes about a minute or less, but it took me more than a minute. I'll cut out the excess skin and fat hanging over the neck as well. This back is not going to be discarded. I will use it to make stock or boil it and eat it, whatever. <laughs> but it's not going to go to waste. Once that is done, I'm going to pat it dry some more to get rid of the excess moisture from when I cleaned it. Nice and done. Next, I'll transfer it into my baking dish. It's time to season this baby generously. What I'll do is get my fingers underneath the skin. I'll separate the skin from the breast and then rub in the spiced butter. This will help the skin absorb and suck in all of that spices you know to make it succulently delicious <laughs> try to be a bit careful when you're doing this else the skin will tear and we don't want that we still want the skin on so we don't burn the meat as you can see in the video i'm just scooping in some of the butter and i rub it generously under the skin i'll press it the chicken is cold the butter is cold so it wasn't really easy like you know it's winter season but i tried my best to rub it in as much as i could once that is done i will break the breast just so it flattens better next i'll flip it over and begin to pour the dry rub Please be generous with this. Remember, we did not add salt. So you don't have to be stingy with it. Be generous. You want it to enter every corner, every bone. So let me tell you, this spice can be used for your pasta dish. You can use it to grill your beef. Whatever grills you want to make because it is absolutely delicious and it's all purpose. If you don't make it, you will not know. So please make it and follow the exact exact recipe and then come back with your testimony okay <laughs> so try to pat it in as i'm doing so that the spices can stick to the chicken ensure every bit and part of it gets coated next i'm going to spray it with this oil if you don't have olive oil spray use any oil if you don't have spray just drizzle some oil over it and your chicken will still taste absolutely delicious 
if you have not liked this video yet please hit the like button hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you get notified because i'll be dropping more amazing recipes next i'll cover this with a clean film and let it rest in the fridge overnight please if you don't have overnight don't cook this chicken <laughs> Because I feel like it will not marinate so well. Anyway, if you have about 4 hours, 4 hours would do. But try to plan ahead so you can marinate it overnight and get all of the spices and herb into every part of the chicken. So I marinate it like I said overnight and then you'll see. This is about 12 hours later and I'm going to do this in the air fryer you can bake this in the oven but i choose the air fryer because it is faster as you can see i cannot wait to devour this chicken yay i'm using my ninja foodie pro max or max pro um i have preheated this i'm using the flat plate and not the crisper basket because i want all of the juices to remain on the plate so i can use it to baste the chicken when it's done so if you are doing this in your oven obviously you'll bake it for longer maybe about an hour i recommend you baste it two to three times when it is baking so i'll just um tuck the wings on that because i don't want it to burn this ninja is very hot and if the skin is out i mean the wings if the wings is out it'll burn I'll let it bake for 20 minutes at 180 and yay this is what we have yes 20 minutes because the ninja is very hot I don't know if you have anyone that has it you can try or one of these days we will try to cook with it in a live video and you will see what I mean anyway this chicken is done I'm just sprinkling some parsley for a pop of color oh guys look how juicy this is look how beautiful it is Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to hit the subscription button. Also like this video. See you in my next one. Bye.